we know that industrial water consumption places a strain on the world's um, limited water supply, of course. In fact, uh, agriculture and, in, and its industrial sectors account for approximately 90% of uh, direct water withdrawals. And this brings us to the next analysis, the Water Resources Group, an arm of the World Bank, for example, says that water demand is expected to exceed current supply uh, by 40% by 2030. It's not too far away, just 10 years away from now. Competition between communities and also countries for scarce water resources is increasing, especially as uh, climate change is um, exacerbating and uh, its risks and um, predictable activities. Water scarcity is on the other side also caused by water resource uh, and mismanagement. So which industry, for example, uh, consumes the most water. There are some, um, the first one is fruit and vegetable farming, for example, of course. Um, also, meat farming is uh, often targeted as the most intensive sector for energy and carbon. is actually lower on the list compared to grain fruit and vegetable farming, which are now the thirtiest crops. Well, one of them is wheat. The other one is, for example, corn, then, um, of course, rice, cotton, um, already sugar markets or sugar cane, and the next sector is garments and textiles. The garment and textile industry is one of the most water-intensive industries in the world. In fact, creating a single pair of jeans of your clothes um, requires close to 7,600 liters of water. Water is primarily used for the fabric uh, dyeing process um, as well as wet processing on the same time. The next sector is meat production. The industrial meat production complex uses a lot of water and almost a third of the water footprint of total agricultural production. So the food what we are consuming is consuming a lot of water. Then we have beverage industry. The beverage center uh, sector produces, for example, uh, juices, sodas, beers, and a range of other drink, along with the water required in the liquids themselves. The additives at a water-intensive agricultural aspect that the industry requires farmed products such as barley, sugar, coffee, fruit, grains, and so on. And according to the Water Footprint Network, it takes between 680 to 1,241 liters to produce a 2-liter bottle of soda. You have to imagine it. 75 liters of water to make a pint of beer. It takes 140 liters of water to produce the ingredients to make a single cup of coffee. We have also automotive manufacturing sector what takes a staggering of 140,000 liters to produce the average domestic vehicle. In the automotive industry, major water use occurs in surface treatment and coating, for example. P 
painting, paint spray booths, washing, rinsing, housing, cooling, air conditioning systems. And all these are consuming a lot of water. Then we have boilers. The question is now, how can industries reduce water consumption? We need smart technology. We need irrigation management, including sensor technology and satellite imagery to identify where water is needed and where water is being wasted. And the fact is, we are wasting water. Better supply chain pro production and procurement and also management, such as choosing suppliers and farmers that use sustainable agricultural practices. And this is a step to the modern future, committing to clean and return water to the environment utilizing nature ecosystems for water resource management. How does, for example, England's water consumption compare with the rest of the world? Nobody is asking that, but that could be maybe an interesting setup. According to the National Water Footprint Accounts, these are the top 10 water using countries around the world. I think I have here a picture. China, for example, 1.5 billion people, 362 trillion gallons annually. United States, 300 million people, 216 trillion gallons. Brazil, 175 million people, 95 trillion gallons. In Asia, Russia, 143 million people, 71 trillion gallons. Mexico, 100 million people, 53 trillion gallons. India, 1.1 billion people only and 30 trillion gallons. England, 60 million people, 20 trillion gallons. France, 60 million people, 20 trillion gallons. Canada, 33 million people, 19 trillion gallons. Australia, 20 million people, 12 trillion gallons. Ask yourself how your business can start serving water. Saying water starts by having an effective water management strategy in the place. Many businesses choose to outsource to expert water consultants to identify and implement saving, saving efficiencies. Our smarter business water, for example, is on hand to get you started on your water saving journey and we can also help you save on business water rates by walking you through the process of switching suppliers on one side for a cheaper deal on the other side so it shall be a win-win situation who are now the most water intensive semiconductor companies and why is Intel share price declining and falling? That's the next important question and maybe you need to take a review and to go back in mind. We need for the future people who are building ecosystems and who are getting engaged 
to protect the most valuable and the most important good for humans, nature, and our planet to live. And after oxygen, it is water, much more important than ever before.